am Dr. Sabita, pediatrician with 20 years of experience in child care. Today, I am doing this video in the hope this can be of some use to mothers who want to breastfeed their babies. As a newborn is born, every mother is excited in welcoming the baby into the family, want to do everything best possible for the baby. And one of the most important things is, of course, breastfeeding. And now comes the problem, like how to latch, how to feed, how does my baby get enough milk? So all the confusions are there. How do we go ahead with breastfeeding? Most important thing is for mothers to have a flexible attitude because you need a period of time to adapt to the situation to learn the new techniques. You have not been experienced before. You will need some time to learn. Your baby needs some time to learn. Sometimes the milk is just getting established. So baby may be crying. So all these you need to adapt. So if you want to breastfeed your baby, we will try our best to breastfeed the baby. But if the baby is hungry, first let us feed the baby with whatever milk available, calm the baby and then go ahead with the breastfeeding. If the baby is born by normal delivery, you can start feeding as early as half an hour. And if it's a, a cesarean section, at least within two hours, you could try and feed your baby. Of course, in the first two days, because of the pain due to the episiotomy or due to the cesarean section, you may lie down and feed the baby because that may be more convenient. Uh, but if possible, you can sit up and then feed your baby. Our next goal is giving nutrition to the baby, allowing proper growth of the baby. So that is what each mother wants. I want my baby to grow well. Once we decided to feed the baby, next thing is how to position the baby. You must understand there is no one perfect posture or like you said, there is no one size shoe that fits all. So for each baby, for each mother, what is comfortable for you is the correct posture. The position as such, there are few very common methods of using it. So one can be what you call cross cradle method where you hold the baby in your one hand and position to the uh, other side of the breast. So that is one way of doing it. You can use a football method where the head is held in the palm and the feet is towards the back and you feed. For instance, if you're feeding from the left side, you hold the baby on the left hand. You can also use your right hand, allowing the baby to rest on the forearm and take the feed from that. You can also lie down and feed. But when you lie down and feed, there is a possible chance that you may be tired and sometimes you might fall over the baby, smothering the baby. Also, there is noticed to be a little increase in ear infections when the baby is fed in the lying down posture. Now, once we decide to feed and decide on the posture, make yourself comfortable. Sit on a chair or a bed where you're comfortable. Make sure you have a pillow or something to support both the baby and also you should have a backrest so that your back is supported. If you need a foot rest, use it so that you can elevate your feet to again add on to the support. Once you position the baby, what is the next goal that we have? The next point is you should bring the baby to where the nipple is. The nipple is most of the time, it is facing outwards and downwards. This is the direction of the nipple. It's not that you position the nipple to where the baby is. So sit comfortably, bring the baby to such a position that the nipple is facing the upper lip or towards the nose. The ultimate aim is to get the nipple to touch the roof of the mouth. So now that you position the baby, gently go and touch the upper lip with the nipple. So when the baby, what does the baby do when you go? When you go and touch the upper lip with the nipple, the baby opens the mouth opens the mouth and some of the babies might open it only a bit. Some might open it wide. So if they are opening it only a bit, just touch and withdraw, touch and withdraw and then you will find the baby just opens and tries to catch on the nipple. At that time, you should get maximum area of your nipple into the mouth of the baby. Here what I want to stress is that 
it's not the nipple alone that should go into the mouth of the baby. It is the full areola that has to go into the mouth of the baby. So if you look at it, the dark area is fully for the baby. And if you want to support the breast or hold the breast so that the nose is not covered, your hole should always be in the fair part of the breast. So at least about 2 cm away from the areola. Otherwise, your fingers will come in between the baby's uh, area for sucking. The fingers you can use to shape the breast. The breast can be shaped, you can compress it to make it parallel to the mouth of the baby. So both by your breast moving forward and the baby coming closer to you, you approximate the nipple into the mouth of the baby and the baby will automatically start sucking. In the first few weeks, of course, they might fall asleep after one or two sucks, maybe three, four. So you need to stimulate the baby to keep them awake. Now, how do we know whether the latch is correct? When the latch is correct, the mother will not feel any pain. This is very, very, very important. If you are feeling pain, this is because less area of the areola has gone into the mouth. Push more into the mouth of the baby until there is no pain for you. This is possible. I know a lot of mothers used to ask me, it's not possible, it's very big doctor. But I'll tell you when I show it to them that this is possible, they did, the trust is needed. So maybe you would should ask your doctor or your lactation consultant to show it to you once how to push the whole areola into the mouth. This is important, otherwise, you will develop cracked nipple, the pain, and the baby also gets less milk because the milk as it comes. It is drained from the breast, it comes towards the areola where there is a dilated portion into which the milk is collected and then there is a tube like duct where the milk comes out. So when the baby is biting the nipple area, it's on the tube like area and very little drop 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 milk comes. Whereas when the baby bites in the areola, you have the dilated portion which gets compressed and a lot of milk comes out. You can check it yourself, like right? you can press on the nipple, you can go about 2 cm behind and give a press. You will see the difference in the amount of milk that flows out when the two areas are pressed. So this is very very important. And when the baby is sucking properly, baby can empty your breast in 4 to 6 minutes. So this is important again because otherwise you will be asking the baby to suck for half an hour, taking your rest away, baby is also exhausted, working a lot and getting less uh, enumeration. So to know how the baby, the baby is sucking is right again, what's the speed with which the baby sucks? If the baby is sucking very fast, very very fast like the squirrel nibbles that are none, then your latch is probably in the nipple area. So if the baby is in the proper areola, baby will suck at a slow pace, pressing, sucking in and draining the milk and then continue. So it will be slow suck, no pain and emptying in the breast very fast. The position wise next thing that you should remember is the chin should be pressing on the breast, the nose should be away from the breast forehead and nose should be moving away from the breast. So for this the importance of where you position your hand behind the head. If you position it way up, way up on the top of the head, you will be flexing your neck and the forehead will come close to the breast. This position is not very helpful for breastfeeding. So you should position your hand further down at the neck area by the side of the ears and push from there allowing the head to fall back with the forehead falling back and chin coming close to the breast. I was motivated to do this video by the mother of one of my patients, a little boy who came to me on day 7 of life and mother wanted me to help with the feeding. And I noticed mother said 
uh, wanted to note down what I'm telling, explaining to her, and I thought if I did a video, it would be very useful for everyone. And the same day, the mother went home, and all that I was said was implemented, and I got a video back showing how beautifully mother had latched the baby, and also she was actually the motivation for me to do this video. And I also thank for allowing me to use the video clips of the baby in this video for education purpose for all the mothers wanting to feed their babies. I hope this will be useful for all the mothers.